Hello everyone, today I'm talking to all of you homeowners who are not very experienced or comfortable working with electricity. And a commonly asked question is, why does the ground wire in an electrical outlet or even a light switch need to be attached to the box? And when I say attached to the box, I'm talking about a metal box because uh, you don't have to do it with a plastic box because the plastic box is not a, will not conduct electricity. So aside from the setting this plastic box as aside, the reason why you need to have a, a, the uh, ground wire attached to one of the screws in the back of the box is because it's very easy for, especially if it's not wired properly, for either the, uh, the uh, wire that's carrying the load or the power to potentially pop off or or touch the side of the box one way or another. Maybe it you strip too much or someone stripped too much insulation or whatever the case may be if the hot wire happened to touch the side of the box. Now the box is live and you could get electrocuted by simply touching your your uh, outlet cover, especially if your outlet cover is metal. A lot of the ones made today are plastic, but there are a lot of metal ones that are ornamental. I have some metal ones in my house. They're decorative, especially the light switch uh, uh, covers, right? And so you could then potentially, as you're going to plug something in, if it's a metal cover or maybe even uh, you're opening this thing up to just check on something and you happen to touch it, right? There's a lot of reasons why you could in turn get shocked if it is not grounded. So if you've got the ground wire attached to the back of the box, then and if the uh, a wire pops off or if it ca it's bending in here and it, it touches both the, uh, the brass screw and also the box, if it's got the ground wire attached back here, the power will then go reach ground. It will not go into, into you. It's going to go back to the electrical panel and then find ground that way. So that's why if you've got a metal box, whether it's an outlet or a switch, you always have to make sure that, that it is grounded for safety purposes. If you have any questions at all, please uh, leave them down in the, in the comments. Also, let me know if you already knew that or if you learned something new today. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next video.